Anthony Amers, Dan Lawless here for West Ham Fan TV, and I'm joined by Sammy from the Fulhamish Pod. I nearly said blog. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> and we've just come down to uh, do talk sport. We was on the uh, sports bar, and I thought this would be an opportune time to grab Sammy and talk about some of the players that we've been linked with uh, and get a little quick assessment, because obviously you've watched them seasons in, season out, and what, what you think. Um, now, the main one, and the one that's looking most likely, is Fredericks. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you, how, what's your assessment of Fredericks and how do you feel about him potentially leaving Fulham? Well, obviously Fredericks has been a very, very good player for us this season and at the champ, in the championship, he, you know, he tears left backs to shreds, you know, week in, week out and also he can defend, you know, he is a good right back at the same time. His pace is terrifying and, and sometimes he's been very much the key to us unlocking defences. He's got a great skill at kind of racing to the byline and skipping that ball back kind of towards the penalty uh, spot and a lot of goals for Fulham this season have been scored that way. That being said, I wouldn't be gutted if he left. He really does blow hot and cold, Ryan. And there's sometimes you're watching him in the stands so frustrated thinking, Freds, make a move, make a run, do anything. And he kind of stands there and he, he and he also his fitness has been a problem he regularly seems to need a, a two-week break in order to get back to full fitness so i think mm. i think he's good but if he had flaws in the championship i i just think some of those flaws would be even more exposed in the premier league if he's there next season i think he'll be our starting right back and i don't know i, I would thank him for the memories if he left and i would be quite sad because I would like to see the nucleus of this Fulham squad staying together to try and get us back to the Premier League but are there better right backs out there but better right wing backs probably interesting interesting I mean pace is definitely something we're missing down that right hand yeah. side Zabaleta um, has been decent but he gets found out and yeah, when yeah. it comes to pace so that is something that we greatly need and we've done all right from the championship we got Antonio we yeah. got Creswell um you know, we got. Um, I'm trying to add the player in mid. Not Hugo. Not Hugo. <laughs> bring up Hugo. He was decent when he played us for Preston. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah like he he tore us a new one back in October. That when we signed him, Preston fans all over my videos going, "Thank you so much." They were laughing their heads <laughs> off. That... And they might be laughing at the amount, but he was. Yeah. You know, he could play. But I was quite surprised when he. You know, you think, guys signed him. I think his goal scoring record for them though wasn't that great one you no, looked at I think if you can't score that many goals at championship level I think trying to find goals at Premier League level is it is nigh on um, impossible he'd yeah. be a good signing I just wonder if like a club like West Ham should I, I'm surprised you're aiming for Ryan Fredericks that's yeah. that's maybe the thing that's caught my eye but I mean we've been linked with him for a while now we've been linked to your whole team even your bloody manager <laughs> yeah. like at one point goalkeeper obviously. probably want our stadium next <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah exactly do you know what I would have it <laughs> I would have it you know what I mean you've seen the London Stadium um, I just think yeah he could maybe learn under Zabaleta I think working with Zabaleta I think that would do him wonders and mm. Zabaleta is that guy who can um, put an arm around players and teach them a thing or two but, I mean Declan Rice has, has said how much he's learnt from Zabba. So I think that could be a, a decent signing compared to it's because I can't think of that many right backs out there off the top of my head that you know, you know, that, that what we need and you know can come in and definitely do a job that are available. So I think that could be, like you said, he might just come and he might get found out. But I mean, how old is he? Oh, uh, I think you're testing me now. He's about 27. Oh, I might 27. have to check that out though, sorry. I thought, yeah, I thought he might be a bit younger than that. So he's about mid-20s, we'll say. Yeah, he's definitely mid-20s. I know mid -20s, that. Mid-20s, but yeah, pace is definitely something. Is there anyone from West Ham that you think might be surplus or requirements or someone that you could get that you'd like, that you might have seen? Obviously, <laughs> you might not watch us that much, but... Uh, I don't... I don't know. I mean, obviously, actually, an Andy Carroll wouldn't, like would actually kind of fit the style of play. We often play with a big target man. We play the, we play football on the floor. We play a very pretty style of football, but Slaviza has a liking for a big man up top that mm. can um, that can get it, that take your ball on your chest and bring the midfielders into play. The midfielders are actually the ones that score a lot of goals. Um, so maybe, maybe someone like Andy Carroll's hold-up play, if we couldn't sign Mitrovic, would be 
of interest. You know, we had Chris Martin for a season who was very much a poor man's Andy Carroll. Yeah. And, and, you know, she actually did a, quite a good job for us at the championship level. Other than that, obviously, there are just very good players who I wouldn't mind, like on Haltovich and Antonio, but they're obviously not going to be siding yeah. for Fulham. So if, no one particularly that uh, is on my radar. But if you... Fulham buy Andy Carroll, I will buy a Fulham shirt. Honestly, <laughs> be one, my, my favourite club apart from West Ham. If you buy Andy Carroll, he is a, a brilliant, absolutely brilliant player on his day. It's just the price. It's the, yeah. the wages that he gets paid mm. and how often he plays. Yeah, exactly. Um, is the frustrating thing. And I wouldn't want him for those for reasons, those, really. Yeah. I think the reality is wherever he goes next, he's going to have to take a pay cut unless he goes to China. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. But, yeah, welcome back to the Prem, mate. Thanks. Um, I'm we'll... looking forward to seeing what all the fuss about this stadium is. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see you down there. When, when, uh... And we'll see you at the cottage. Yeah, we're looking forward to it, mate. We'll definitely uh, get you back on again when we're about to play. Sick. So Good luck. Hope you make some decent signings. Thank but you. But not too. better than us, obviously. <laughs> yeah. so, all right. Brilliant. So do check out the Fulhamish pod. Um, go and check out Sammy on there. Don't forget to subscribe. All of that stuff. One thing left to say. Come on, you eyes.